really sad news. Looks like Kim and Kanye just aren't going to be able to work out. Uh, Kim filed for divorce today in uh, Los Angeles. Her attorney is, uh, I'm going to forget her name, Wasser? Is her last name? Wasserman? She did like Johnny Knoxville's and uh, oh, she was a consultant. Her and her dad were consultants on the Jim Carrey uh, movie Liar Liar. Um, she uh, also was End of Marriage or something like that, I think. Uh, Laura Dune movie. Uh, it's I don't care about the attorney at this point. But anyway, it's uh, the uh, the curious timing of Kim Kardashian's divorce from Kanye West. This one struck me because I did think it was weird. Um, the uh, I figured it was there uh, it is now time for Kanye to be canceled. He, uh, you know, he and Donald Trump are friends. Uh, but also, uh, he ran for president and he, in a uh, quote somewhere I saw, he said that he blamed his presidential run on their marriage falling apart. But let's face it, Kanye is of the wrong political mindset. Uh, so <laughs> he has to be taken out <laughs> just another night in Hollywood, right? All right. The curious timing of Kim Kardashian's divorce from Kanye West. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Here's the deal. This looks like her outfit. She's got like a, uh, it's that uh, caramel apple look going on. You know where the, the caramel's like shiny, like this wet look to it. And he's upset because he's like, girl, why are you dressed in football pads and you've got bo little boy hair? Okay. Like we are out on the town. I want people to see you and be like, oh man, Kanye, look at his woman. But instead, I got you in, in like, this uh, weird get look at the gloves the matching gloves and in like a jacket and this turtleneck he's like you can't see any part of you that says woman you know I'm mean, what am I doing here here I am am I cool uh, you know I'm relaxed I got my uh, uh, sweatpants on this guy back here he's from uh, uh, Kosovo or something you know he's got the Adidas going on uh, this looks like uh, half of um, uh, Keanu Reeves. It probably isn't, but, you know, it looks like it. And then over here, it just looks like uh, another Kardashian. So, yeah, he's in hell. He's in hell right now. Uh, and, and Kanye don't like hell. So, man, just bad for him. It's bad. The family has long utilized their popular reality show to address situations they wouldn't elaborate on in real time, instead waiting for the dust to sell to have the final say. Dude, th this is all for that show. This is all for TV. It's all for ratings. Like, do you think Chris Kardashian goes in and tells E and says, hey, listen, uh, here's the deal. Um, Kim will get divorced, but we're going to need an extra $10 million. To uh, for you to get th that this year, uh, I think uh, what's the uh, what was that one uh, the uh, the Chewbacca one uh, was married to Lamar Odom and all of a sudden he got like brain dead and uh, like uh, he was like what well, they found him in like the uh, the bunny ranch right and he was like overdosed they said and all this stuff I don't know maybe he probably knew something on him as far as I know uh, I wouldn't put it past him. It's all for the ratings. It's all for the ratings. On early Friday afternoon, that's the day, the 19th, it was shaping up to be an average day for Kim Kardashian West. She had uploaded videos to her Instagram story showing off the newest designs from her Skims shapewear line. I don't even, I didn't know she had a shapewear line. I don't know what this is. Uh, and posted photos of herself lounging in her living room with a thin gold band still on her ring finger. She posted photos of herself lounging in her living room. Do people look at this? Do people go look at that stuff? That's weird. That's weird, man. Uh, that's just that's bizarre. Uh, anyway. 
but <laughs> just a few hours later, it was announced that Kim had filed for divorce from her husband, Kanye West, after almost seven years of marriage. The Kardashians are notorious. Here's where I get meat and potatoes. The Kardashians are notorious for their business acumen. Beyond just appearing in the reality series Kim of the Kardashians, each of the sisters run their own business. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, Kylie Jenner, and this one blows my mind. Billion dollar makeup empire. Billion dollars. Like, does billion dollars not count for a lot of money anymore? Kim has both a beauty and a shapewear line. Is she selling girdles? Is that what that is? Pantyhose and girdles? Oh, man, that's just weird. Uh, Chloe. Chloe, yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Owns the clothing brand Good American. And Courtney. Or no, maybe it was Courtney. I don't know. I, there's so many Ks. Look at this. Kylie, Kim, Chloe, Courtney. Which one is the one that uh, 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 transitioned to a different uh, set of genitalia? Uh, can I say that? Did I say that right? Did I say I said it wrong? I'm sure. Which one's that? Is that um, uh, what's this? Is that Kyle? What's it? Oh, Bruce. Bruce. That's right. Bruce is a cool name. Um, Bruce Wayne. Bruce Campbell. Bruce. It's a cool name. It used to be Jennings, Olympian. But the whole time he was running, he was thinking to himself, "Man, if I didn't have my dingaling." I could run faster. Chuck Berry wrote a song about that. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Courtney developed a goop-inspired blog called Posh. Or Poosh. What do they call it? Poosh. Goop? What's goop? Is that a hair product? Man, I'm so out of it. I hate Hollywood so bad. I hate their... This is like... This is just Maybelline, okay? They're just selling Maybelline... And but it's called some weird made up name like Poosh. <laughs> I love saying that. I pooshed. It sounds like a shark. <laughs> Poosh. I pooshed. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> that poosh was a two flusher. <laughs> oh, it smells like rotten poosh in here. <laughs> what the? I I gooped my poosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, jeez. What time did I start this thing? This is going. This is gonna be too long. Um, uh, let's see here. Most recent examples of the family's knack for creating probable companies. Kendall Jenner launching a tequila brand. Oh, wow. Another girl drinking tequila. Oh, wow. This is... <laughs> this is reaching for it, isn't it? And you know, Kanye deserves so much better than this. Kanye is a cool guy. Uh, his, uh, album... Gosh, I, for the life of me, I couldn't tell you the name of it right now. I can't tell you the name of anything. Uh, but anyway, Kanye's album, uh, his gospel one, man, I don't like gospel music. And I wanted to hear it, and I put it in, just hit play. And you gotta go in order. I hate this whole shuffle thing. It's, uh, like Spotify, it just randomly puts myself to shuffle. And I'm like, I'm a premium member. Like, turn this off. Anyway, sorry, a little side rant. Uh, but yeah, just go from one to the end on uh, Kanye's gospel album. It's good. It, it really is good. Uh, you just feel better afterwards. I don't know what the, how to explain that. Oh, uh, well, back to this. So they got kids. Oh, these are great names. North. <laughs> I almost said South. That's Saint. <laughs> Chicago. And Palm. You can tell this one here. This had to, had to burn the Kardashians. Oh, well. Um, Dell also reported that Kim and Kanye are fine with the terms of their prenup and are far along in reaching a settlement over, the various, over their various properties. Didn't Kanye buy a place in, like, Montana or something? God, I'd love if he became a cowboy. Like, what if he became a streaming cowboy? That'd be so awesome. Uh, so... 
California is a 50-50 state, and it's uh, it's really it's really uh, I don't know all of our divorce laws. I think they have a relook at them. Uh, I think the no fault thing is it's weird. Uh, there's a lot of people out there, especially Hollywood. You know, they're having an affair. I, man, you sorry, dude. You cheat on somebody, you get a little bit punished in the pocketbook. All right, it gives a little incentive because we want to keep marriages together. You know, uh, 15 minutes of fun is not worth a lifetime of solidarity. You know, you you are that that one couple. Whenever, if you don't think marriage is important, try. Uh, <laughs> you getting really sick. <laughs> I'll tell you what. If you don't think marriage is important, <laughs> talk to someone who's been in a coma. All right. Oh, jeez. Uh, let's see here. Now, why do they do it? They're saying, oh, Laura Wasser. That's who uh, the divorce attorney is. The basis for Laura Dern's character and marriage story. Mm, excuse me. I gotta get a, uh, a sleep button. <laughs> it's a yawn button. I see her. It seemed, uh, she likes to do these quiet uh, uh, filings. It seemed like it would be uh, the prior weekend would have been a perfect opportunity to file if uh, there was one with President's Day and Valentine's Day. Nobody files for divorce on Valentine's Day. What type? They're trying to avoid negative press, okay? Could you imagine that? Kim Kardashian files for divorce again on Kanye West on Valentine's Day. I mean, that should be a movie. That should be a movie. That you know what we need to have bro flicks, right? You have these chick flicks. Be like a well, no, I don't like the bros, the typical bros, but dudes like uh, the dude love story. No one's ever put the love story from the side of the dude. And the closest I can think of is old school, right? I mean, the guy comes home, finds out his chick, his wife, girlfriend, whatever she is, she's into you know some wild action. Some uh, some real freaky stuff. <laughs> oh, I got the other guy who directs it. Uh, he's the one that rings the doorbell. He says, "Hey, yo, I'm here for the gang. Cool than the gang." Uh, let's see what the big quotes are. In similar fashion, Kim was kept, has kept quiet since it was first reported her marriage was on the brink, keeping up appearances by occasionally wearing her ring and posting on social media as normal. Yeah, she wore a ring on social media. Uh, let's see here. Um, I had a rumor for months that Kylie Jenner was pregnant. I don't care about her. I don't care about Khloe Kardashian. All this stuff. Okay, so it's just kind of is all I care about. Let's go back to the... I know my care about the rest of these broads. Um, it should be expected for Kim to use the final season of the show. Oh, it's the final season of the show. Ding, ding, ding. This is what we were looking for. She files for divorce. When's this show come out? When does it start recording or whatever? Uh, let's see here. It should be, be only expected for Kim to use the final season of the show to tell her side of the story. You know what? That'd be the first thing I did is get an injunction to keep her from doing that. Uh, without social media and the news media weighing in on every development. Yeah, this is the stupidest paragraph I've ever read in my life. So, there's no social media talking about TV shows? There's no news media talking about it? You haven't heard of uh, Inside Edition and Entertainment Tonight? I don't even know those things are on anymore. Uh, but anyway, uh, so in a way, it's a beautiful character arc for herself. Who says this? Cheyenne Roundtree? Of course. Look, I look at her. She's another one. You can tell her she's uh, uh, what's the name? Uh, Kardashian. Kardashian. <laughs> I was almost say Kanye. Kardashian. She is uh, totally for Kardashian. She hates men. She hates um, uh, Donald Trump. You know, I, I, I mean, I voted for Kanye. Kanye is my man for president. Kanye 24 is what I'm saying, right? Uh, in a way, it's a beautiful character arc for herself. The first season was about her struggle to achieve the, and deal with fame, even in uncharted territories. And now, 14 years down the line, Kim is fully in control of her life and choices, but is always surrounded by family. Yeah, everybody is in control of their life and choices. 
and most people are surrounded by family unless there's some external circumstances, you know? Wow. Wow. Normal. But here's the thing that sucks about this. Look at this. Uh, her struggle to achieve and deal with fame. That's what she wanted. It wasn't about money. It's about fame. I'll take money over fame any day. I was thinking about it the other day. I was like, you know, sometimes you just want to sit down and eat your french fries in a restaurant and be left alone. But if you're famous, someone's going to come up and they want to take their picture with you. They want your autograph. They want to be your best friend. All that stuff, right? But being famous doesn't mean you have money. I mean, there's a lot of famous people that don't have any money in this society. Uh, that's who we create. Oh, jeez. Anyway, well, hey, let's say a prayer for Kanye tonight. Um, oh, hey, uh, you'll be interested to know that if they... I got to find their, uh, their prenup. That'd be the, the interesting part. But they didn't have a prenup. I did not know until tonight... Kim is worth $900 million. Now, my wife thought that Kim was probably worth a lot more than Kanye. And she, when I told her it was $900 million, she said, well, Kanye is probably worth $300 million. I said, well, there's a three. Kanye is worth $3.2 billion. All right? So, how you do that, if I have my uh, memory, who knows California, the way I believe it's done is that you take the 900 million and the 3.2 billion and you add it up so you get 4.1 billion and then you split that in half. So we'll just say, you know, 4 billion split in half, 2 billion. So he gets 2 billion, she gets 2 billion. That means Kanye loses 1.2 billion dollars for that right there, okay? Think about that. That's a lot of jello pudding cups that uh, she had to eat to get that jello butt. 1.2 billion dollars to tap that <sighs> count me out i mean my gosh you could move to one of these uh uh rural states and you could inf with 1.2 billion dollars you buy enough influence to get divorce laws written in your name okay uh, i would I, pff, my place of residency would be uh I don't know, man. Like, truth or consequences, New Mexico. I'm moving there. That's the place to live, man. Truth or consequences, New Mexico. Look it up. Other than that, please like. Please subscribe. Please share this. Tell your friends. Tell the people that you think are your friends. Tell your enemies. That's the better one. Tell your enemies to come here and check this out. Love y'all. Be good to each other. We only got one shot on this rock. And peace.